One thing you hear relatively often is, even if Turkey grows, other countries also grow and 1% of, for example, Germany is more than 5% of Turkey. Which is not without any valid ground, but it underlines the wrong sense of scale many people have. Developed countries are not centuries ahead of developing countries and that's what I would like to address here in this video. So, first, the claim that countries like Turkey can't catch up to Germany. And as a Turk, you keep hearing about the economic recession Turkey is in, or at least was up until like 2022. Which results in the feeling that Turkey just dropped far behind developed countries and that we lost like decades. So what I would like to address as a second point is the claim that Turkey dropped far behind developed countries. There's also a disclaimer I have to put here before I start the topic, which is GDP numbers alone is not an indicator for the prosperity of a country. I have covered this in this video of mine, which is why I'm not going to lose more words about it. However, as a rule of thumb, as GDP grows, the prosperity of people also grow. Now some might say, oh boy, the armchair economist is talking, to which I have to say, we're talking about basic and simple math with numbers that are publicly available. You don't need a PhD to read data from the World Bank and the data I'm about to present is mainly from the World Bank. So what did I do, or to be more specific, what am I about to present? I took the GDP numbers of various countries I selected randomly and divided them by the GDP of Turkey at various years. Meaning, if the graph goes up, it means that the gap between the two countries is going down and vice versa when it goes up. I'm not going to share all graphs here in this video, but I will share the file I used on my Discord channel. Either way, if we, for instance, look at the nominal GDP of European countries in comparison to Turkey, you see this. You have the percentage on the y-axis and the year on the x-axis. Now, three things are important to note here. First, Turkey outgrew most countries. The 5-10% to of Turkey in comparison to the, let's say, 1-3% to of developed countries makes a gigantic difference. As a result, the gap between Germany and Turkey went down from about 900% in 2002 to about 400% in 2013. Second, the massive growth of Turkey closed a massive gap between developed countries and Turkey. Germany was one example, but even if we for instance look at countries like Japan, we still see that you can catch up rapidly to developed countries. In case of Japan, the difference dropped from about 1800% to about 550% within 10 years. Third, even though Turkey is at an economic recession, the world is as well. Despite the GDP drop of about 25% of Turkey from 2013 to 2018, the difference only grew by 100% and stayed about the same since then. Now you could argue that this is just Europe and that the Middle East looks different, and you would be right with respect to the Middle East. It doesn't look like much of a success in this regard for the simple reason that there are a lot of all shenanigans. I explained in my mentioned video how stupid this gets, but just as a reminder, if Germany and Turkey both produce one apple at the same quality within their entire economy, then Germany's economy would be multiple times higher for the simple reason that the apple is evaluated at a higher price there, despite both countries being the exact effing thing. As a result, it only makes sense to look at countries with respect to purchasing power parity, which is GDP by PPP. And when we do that, you see how much the Turkish economy actually grew within the last 20 or so years. Saudi Arabia, as an example, has actually a smaller economy than Turkey, and that is despite the fact that they are rich enough to build a stupid line of a city in the middle of the desert because screw geography. Now some might argue, sure, this is all fancy, but Turkey was much smaller and less developed, which is why it could pump out some crazy numbers in the early 2000s. And you wouldn't be wrong with that, however, a GDP growth of about 3-5% is quite reasonable for a country like Turkey, and you have to keep in mind that Turkey has many markets around itself that it yet has to tap into. I talked about that in this video, which is why I'm not going to cover that. However, as another example to show how fast you can catch up here, I took the 2022 numbers for nominal GDP and projected a 3 and 5% growth for Turkey in comparison to Germany with a 1% growth. As you can see, the difference does close by a lot. Now this still looks like Germany is worlds ahead, which is why I divided the nominal GDP of Germany by Turkey to make it more accessible and easier to understand, after which you see this. The difference between the two countries can be closed by 100 to 150 percent, within 20 years 200 to 300 percent, and within 40 years around 300 to 400 percent. Even at the lower end with about 3 percent growth on average, Turkey is still closing the gap by around 250 percent. Evidently we can say with certainty, Turkey can rapidly catch up to top tier developed countries. Keep in mind we're excluding other factors like the rapidly aging and declining population in the West, 
sanctions on Turkey's neighbors and whatnot. Lastly, I would like to remind everyone that Turkey doesn't have to reach the nominal GDP of Germany or even the nominal GDP per capita of Norway in order to offer a good life. Nominal GDP per capita of Luxembourg is about three times lighter than that of Austria, but this does not translate to people in Austria living on average three times poorer than people in Luxembourg. And by no means does this translate to Austrian people being poor. At the end of the day, the point of economic growth should be the prosperity of the people and whether other nations offer a more prosperous life when you already offer a rich life to your own people matters little to none. In short, if I have conditions like in Germany, I don't have to migrate to the US or Norway or Luxembourg in order to have an easy life. Neither does Turkey have to outperform Germany to do justice to its citizens.